Let's talk about some of the most fundamental <clears throat> aspects of, of our environment that support us in healing, that can support us in healing, uh, how we can change our environment to take away the stress factors that, that keep us down, keep us from being able to heal and repair uh, correct damage that's been done in the past. And so first we can think about the first thing we need for life is obviously oxygen. So air quality can be an issue. Many modern buildings have air conditioning systems. The, the vents are metal, which means they electronically strip the negative ions out of the air that we have in healthy air. Healthy air, we find a uh, high level of negative ions. We find it like by the ocean where the water is moving, by moving water like waterfalls. We get them from plants. Uh, so in, a, in a, a positively ionized atmosphere like we have in, in an enclosed building with the air conditioning type of system, uh, that allows dust particles and other particulates like viruses, bacteria, to float in the air. This is the case, for example, in most hospitals in, in the United States where they do not use uh, ozone and negatively charged uh, ionization technologies like, like many hospitals in Europe are using uh, to clean the air and hence we have the, the worst infections, nosocomial in infections they're called, hospital-borne infections. You know, one out of three people who go in the hospital come out with a new disease, not, not all from medical error, some is from medical error, some is from the, the side effects of medical drugs and procedures uh, and, and some is just from not being in a healing environment. It's a sick environment it's where people go to die. So the best healing environment for you is your home. And uh, second would be wherever you are <laughs> now, where you are in your life. If you're in your office and that doesn't have healthy air, the simplest answer is, you know, you, short of convincing the, the corporation to <laughs> change, to put in a massive uh, amount of money to change the air for everyone is to change your own personal air supply. So we have the air supply that uh, you can wear around your neck. You can put it right next to you on the desk. It's very, very compact. You can wear it on an airplane or traveling, you know, whenever you would be in uh, a poor air quality situation. So uh, that's, that's first step on air, where air is an issue for you and you may or, not, may or may not be aware of it in terms of symptoms but it's something that's worth considering, uh, trying to, to see if it may improve your outlook. You know, when people walk into a room that has the air treated, so it's actually a healthy life generating air that has a good amount of negative ions, therefore it's clean, it's fresh. Uh, if there's pollutants like, uh, like organic toxins from uh, formaldehyde based building materials and other solvents in the air from fresh carpets or whatever, uh, then uh, a little bit of ozone to, to oxidize that, uh, cleans that out. And uh, people will walk into a room that's clean like that and go, wow, they don't notice that it's the air. They won't say it's the air, but they'll just comment on the room. Like, this is the nicest office. You have a nice space here because they, their body feels good. In fact, this is why uh, uh, Walmarts have, are putting extra oxygen in the air in the Walmarts because people feel better and therefore they hang out longer and probably see more things that trigger them to buy. So uh, you might not have your health as a motive, but at least they're doing something that's better than average on that score. Let's talk about water. Your body on a, a classical understanding level, if we look at molecules in the body, uh, the, the classical chemist would say 99% plus of all the molecules that make up your body are water. So we're mostly water, even a, on a weight for weight basis. You're probably 70% water. We're born maybe 90% water. Uh, and when we die, we're probably about 50% or, or going below 50% water. Uh, we can't live very long without water uh, unless the water in our body is living water. If we're in perfect health, our water actually holds energy. It, hold, it carries information. It carries the, the psyche, the, the processing of that information, the, 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 not only the conscious, but the, the subconscious and unconscious cellular information processing that's essential to, to life processes. 
Um, so, uh, but most of us are not in that perfectly balanced state where the, the water in our body is essentially making us immortal, uh, where, where it's structured and organized in that, in that perfect way. Uh, so we need to, we need to supply water and we need to supply water that's of a high quality, not just in purity, because water isn't just H2O. We could have pure H2O, and that's not living water. That's not energized water. It's not alkaline water, which is healthier. We know uh, they first found out uh, in looking at longevity in Okinawa, Japan. Japan is the highest longevity of any country in the world. And in Okinawa, the water is very different than the rest of Japan. And it's Okinawa where the people live much longer, about maybe 15 years longer than the balance of Japan. And the water there is very alkaline. So they came up with the theory way back uh, you know, 50 years ago uh, that maybe the, uh, the pH of the water could be one of the factors. They didn't know about the studies in France uh, with Vincent that go back many de several decades before that, because he already knew quite a bit about it. But they, they did replication studies in, in some cities in Europe and found the same thing, that the more alkaline the water supply, uh, the, the higher the longevity of the population and lower rates of cancer and skin disease, heart disease. So how can we get or make high quality, healthy water that can help us produce this living water state, this coherent state in the water in the body? Well, we know that, that water needs to be alkaline. It needs to be reduced, meaning an antioxidant. It has excess electrons or negative electrical charge. We can measure it with an instrument called an ORP, an oxidation reduc reduction potential meter. Uh, we can measure, if it's really powerful antioxidant water, we can measure hydrogen, uh, the hydrogen gas level. Now, the hydrogen potential is used as a measure of electrons in the electronics, bioelectronics of Vincent. That's the basis of our five phases of health model. So, so we know some of the characteristics of that water and we can reproduce some or, or many or all of those depending on the technology that we use. Uh, if we take just a, a clean water, a pure water, a filtered water, and we add something like uh, various forms of uh, magnesium. And uh, these are forms that have to do with the Krebs cycle, the energy cycle in the cell. And magnesium is a, is a macro mineral that we need. More, it's our most commonly deficient macro mineral because we don't add magnesium to the soil. We can grow crops that have weight and appear to be what they are. If we can sell them in commerce without having magnesium in them. So we've strip mined the magnesium out of the soil basically in the last 100 years. Uh, when we stopped, when the Green Revolution came, actually after World War II, and they started putting NPK fertilizer, uh, you know, switched the, the armaments manufacturing from making bombs out of phosphorus to making food grow from <laughs> the wartime phosphorus. The magnesium level on foods and the soil started going down. We've lost 90% of it. So this is a good way to, to get some magnesium and it gives it, it produces active hydrogen, hydrogen H2 gas, a hydrogen molecule is a measure again in the Vincent method. It's our primary measure of antioxidant status of the, the electron uh, content of the water. So in five minutes, you put a tablet into a liter of water and you have uh, highly antioxidant water, about mi minus 750 millivolts on an ORP meter. And so that's nice because it's, it's portable. Uh, you can take it traveling. You can you know, take it in your purse to work, etc., cetera, and, and make that water wherever you need it. Whenever we travel, we always miss our high quality water. And so I've been searching for ways to replicate that. And this is a great one. Uh, another way is we've just uh, found uh, it's a new, a new higher level technology than what's been out there for producing hydrogen water uh, electronically. So this is an electronic device. You just plug it in. Uh, so it's great for travel. It has, uh, it's, uh, 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 the plugs compatible in, in the States, but if you're traveling abroad, there's a travel plug that, that will make it work there. And it, it makes hydrogen water about 50 to hundred percent stronger than other units, other models that are out there. Plus it's more compact. It's like a wand 
your magic wand, you, you can take a glass of water, you take your glass, you don't have to carry that with you in your suitcase. Other other systems, maybe a bottle, a glass bottle would be nice. Plastic is less breakable. So you take the glass and break it or in your suitcase, or do you take the plastic and worry about, you know, about the leaching? Well, this way, you most places you travel to, they'll have, a, have some glassware. So you take a glass, fill it with the best quality water you can find, and then put the, this pen in, uh, plugged in. In five minutes, it's you can see the, the hydrogen uh, nano bubbles coming off that, making it uh, like cloudy, white cloudy water. And you just drink that within half an hour or so while it's at its peak antioxidant power. Very, very uh, helpful. That technology does not change the pH. Uh, so you might add, uh, if you're you know needing alkalinity, you could take that as a supplement. There's drops that can be added. Uh, but many different ways to, to uh, boost the alkalinity. Biggest of all is to not be stressed. Uh, and being hydrated is a huge help with that. Whenever we're stressed, like by dehydration, our body goes into stress mode. Now we're producing a stress response that creates more acidity, less oxygen availability. It becomes a, a vicious cycle. So then there's micro water systems all the way from a uh, filter system that works without electricity. So if you're off the grid and, and no electricity, you can still put in a filter. It won't make as strong of an alkaline antioxidant water as the, the electronic uh, uh, electrolysis devices that use uh, platinum coated titanium plates, uh, but it will move it that direction. You'll get some alkalinity, you'll get some negative ORP uh, antioxidant potential. And then there's a whole range from, from very basic microwater units uh, to more advanced. Uh, we have one that, that can, uh, can produce tea hot water straight through the microwater unit. That's very nice. You don't have to worry about, oops, am I putting hot water, water through my microwater unit? This one regulates that temperature. If, it's a, if you want it hot and it's not quite hot enough, it'll heat it up. And if it's too hot, it's going to blend more cold water in. So. Uh, and then we have also the most powerful home microwater units available today, the next generation units, and uh, fabulous. These involve incorporate or or you can add in, uh, built to to add on all the all the top technology that we would want, including ultraviolet filtering, which which ionizes, which which uh, which oxidizes viruses, oxidizes organic pollutants. Fabulous addition. I highly recommend that add-on. Uh, it's three hundred dollars to add that to the system, but that's our Healing Oasis cost is three hundred dollars. So when we put it on sale for two ninety-seven, we're actually losing money when you add that. But we highly recommend it. We we want you to have the the best system and make the cleanest water that you can. Because many places, the water sources, even if it's you know you have bottled water. Well, how good is that? Most of bottled water is tap water that's been bottled. So. Uh, uh, the plasticizers that are that are in the water that have estrogenic effects affecting our hormones, so the 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 UV is very very helpful to really fully clean, and these have great filtration pre filters as well. Uh, and and the higher end ones can be put under the counter. There's an under the counter kit uh, for for an extra five hundred dollars. You can not have it in in your face. It's just under the counter, and the the best possible drinking and cooking water coming out at the tap.